Here is my note card of that. And then this is where I am recording. Imaginary audience. All right. As a college girl, I know looking your best and feeling your best can give you the confidence to conquer anything. However, as much as I love makeup, I know that it can be very intimidating and overwhelming to someone that is just starting out. So I am here to show you that makeup is not as scary as it seems, and with a few tips and tricks, I can help you feel your best. So first, you're going to want to start off with a good cleanser, cleaning your face with this and water, just to have a fresh base to start with. And then you want to go in with a good moisturizer so your skin's not flaky and falling off when you're doing all this. I have already done that. And then I like to put my hair back so when I do my makeup, we're not getting, you know, any light colors in my hair, especially with dark hair. And then next step is going in with a primer. This is, I just squirt it on my hand, rub it all over my face like a moisturizer. This is just to, so your makeup actually sticks to your face and doesn't get all crusty, you know? And then I go in with my base. Sometimes, not all the time, you don't have to do this if you don't want to have a, a full covered face. This is just a CC cream, so it's not a real foundation. It's just something with uh, that matches my skin tone, that has a little bit of SPF that I can just either go in with a foundation brush and put all over my skin or just even rub it with my hands. This is just to make your skin tone even and like a little base for the rest of your makeup. Next, I like to go in with my bronzer and my contour. Uh, this is just so you can define your face, so sculpt it out a little bit. You put it in where your shadows would hit your face just to look more chiseled. So I go in with a bronzer, I go on my forehead, I go on with my cheekbones, the sides of my nose, the bridge of my nose, and my jawline just to really sharpen my face out. And then I usually go in with a powder bronzer. I usually just use a little fluffy brush, just kind of blend out that contour so it's not as blunt and it blends in with my natural skin tone better. Also, all these products you can get at a drugstore. It doesn't have, you don't have to get expensive stuff to look great. Next, I go in with some blush. I just take a normal fluffy br blush brush, circle, and then you just put that on your cheekbones just to give those rosy cheeks. I already naturally have rosy cheeks, but it kind of lifts your face up if you put it up towards the sides and lift your temples. Next, I go in with some concealer just to lift up my face, not get rid of those eye bags um, from all of the sleepless nights doing homework. Um, I usually just get a shade a little bit lighter than my natural skin tone, and I do this after I sculpt out my face with blush and bronzer just to give a little lift. Um, I actually use a foundation, but it's pretty light, so I just use it under my eyes, and I go in with a little sponge brush, I mean a sponge, and just go dab it upwards. Then after all of that, I go in and set my makeup with a spray. You just spray it all over your face, just kind of lock in what you have done so it doesn't all get all smudgy. After that, I take a highlight and it's just what you think it is, just to highlight the high points of your face. So on top, like where any, any place that contrasts where you would put your uh, contour bronzer. So you just put it up on your cheekbones, on the bridge of your nose, up on your brow bone, Sometimes I do my cupid's bow and then the inner corners of my eyes just to give it a pop. After that, I like to go do my brows. Very important step to me. I, you can take any brow gel. Like it doesn't even have to be a gel that's like this. You can do like gel sticks. And then I just take this end of the brush, put on my hand, roll the brush around and just brush my eyebrows up to make them look more full. Then after that, I go in sometimes and I do eyeshadow. For people with blue eyes like me, I recommend some more orangey tones to really make your eyes pop. Um, if you have like brown eyes and you can do like a cooler tone color, so it will definitely make your eyes pop. After that, I then curl my eyelashes upwards. I just clamp them down and curl up and then go in with my mascara. 
Uh, this is Telescopic by L'Oreal. It's my favorite. You just brush upwards. Sometimes you can blink and just brush upwards like that. And you can keep building it on to as thick as you want. And then finally, my last step is I put on a little lip gloss, just like it says, you just put it on your lips. And then again, I finally set again and just to lock everything in place that I've done. And that's it. That's um, a simple makeup look. I hope that I was able to teach you something and make you feel a little bit more confident in your skin, uh, whether you're going to class, a job interview, or a night out of your friends, taking a little bit of time to do your makeup really can change the game in your confidence. So thank you for watching.